Hi guys, this is Dr. Jayavrak Gupta and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be teaching you how to give accurate bends in orthodontic wire which are required in almost every removable orthodontic appliance. But before that you actually have to learn how to give how to get a curved wire straight. So all those who haven't seen my video of straightening the orthodontic wire, I'll be linking it somewhere up here. So just click on the link, see the video and then see this. Few moments later. So I presume that you've seen the video and now you have an orthodontic wire and let's dive into how to give bends in orthodontic wire. So the things which you require for this are a plier, a cutter, a scale, a marking pen and a straight wire or an almost straight wire will also do. For example, you've been given an activity of making a U. So we'll first make the U on a graph paper. Now all the dimensions over here are 2 cm. So how we'll go about this is that first we keep the wire on the line and then we mark at one point where you want the bend to be. The next thing which we have to do is see the point is over here I'll show it to you. The point is over there. I hope you guys can see the point. It is somewhere over here. Yeah, this is the point. Now what we have to do is, you do not have to hold the plier at the point itself. You have to hold the plier just one millimeter, just one millimeter before the point. See, if you can see it, it is just one mill. It's not on the point. It is one millimeter before the point. And then you just give this a bend. Now, if you can see that the point is exactly at the bend. If you, if you would have held the plier at the point itself, then the bend would have happened 1 mm later, like as in it would have uh, overshooted by 1 mm. So you always have to hold the plier 1 mm before the place where you actually want the bend. Now if we see over here, I have actually overbent it a little, like it's not perpendicular to this line. So what you have to do is, you hold it between the plier like this and just open it a little bit. Now once you've done that, you can see that it's sitting. Little bit is still left, almost there. Yeah. I hope it sits now. Okay, it's completely sitting now. Now the first bend is actually the easier one. The second bend is the more difficult one. So again, the same thing because the second is more difficult because the first one, even if you give it ahead, that's the starting bend. So you can moderate it. But for the second bend, you can't do that. Okay, so you again make the point where you want the bend. And you do the same thing. See if you guys can see the point. Okay, and I hold the wire there, uh, the plier, just one millimeter before the actual point. Just one millimeter, and then I'll again bend it. Now you all during this bend, you actually also have to see whether you've held it in the correct plane. See if you see it's in the correct plane right now. If I keep the plier like this, uh, if I keep the wire a little tilted and then I bend it, then to get it back into the same plane will also be a problem. So just keep in mind when you're bending, this wire has to be perpendicular to your plier. Yeah, that's all. If that's perpendicular and you bend it directly down, it will automatically come in the same plane. So as you can see again, the bend has happened just where I made I had made the point. So again, I'll get it back into the plane and make it 90 degrees. Yes. So as you can see here, 
little it's uh, not in the line so i'll just get it back in the line yeah that's done okay yeah now i won't be showing the entire view but the main concept was that you always have to hold the plier one millimeter before where you actually want to give the bend okay so the next thing is how to curve the wire so for circles and label bows and everything you have to first uh, get it into a curve so that it adapts so how to get the wire in that curve so what you have to do is you have to hold the wire and I'll just be explaining how it's done. You just have to hold the pen and do like this. Your thumb, like the wire should be held very tightly. The pen goes outside and inside is the thumb. The thumb is pushing down and you pull it like this. You pull it away. The thumb is pushing the wire and the pen is pushing the wire up. Okay. And the wire is held tight and you just pull it so it will turn you can make an entire circle just by doing this continuously see so this is how we curve the wire so there are just two things which you need to keep in mind. The first one being that the tip of the plier should be just one millimeter before the point where you actually want to give the bend. And the second thing is that the plane in which the wire is bending, is it the correct plane? Because if it goes in the wrong plane, then you'll have to do a lot of adjustments. So the way you check it is that hold the plier like this in which uh, the wire is perpendicular to the plier and then the force also which you have to apply as I showed you in this thing the force should also be parallel to this wire like it should be downwards perpendicular to the plier so then these two will be parallel got it so that's all for this video and if you guys have stayed to here it means that you are really struggling in orthodontics or you just want to see me any one of those so all those who like my channel, please uh, subscribe and ask your friends to follow if they are also struggling in orthodontics. And thank you so much guys for viewing. See you soon. Bye-bye.